he always dusts himself off, right? Like he's just like got finished like beating an entire Somalian army or something over in, you know, I know, Uzbekistan, Gakistan, some other country that is like, you know, become a rebel force now. And then all of a sudden he's like, Martini, please. Good morning, everybody. Mark McInerney, President and CEO of Codemark Financial. Not 007, but the mortgage genius. Okay, yeah, so I am a little bit dressed up because there's a lot of shooting going on this morning. Not like that kind of shooting, but a lot of uh, video shooting taking place this morning. Not, I've got like, I do have the double O twins over here. I've got my man Freddie in here helping his son Joey. Joey's back in the game. We've been up at it this morning since well, for about five, six o'clock this morning, certainly about 5 a.m. to get up, and then six o'clock wrangling a bunch of things. We're shooting a Facebook ad uh, at the house. It's going to be pretty funny to show. Uh, let's see, we're playing a game of Uno. I'd like to say thank you to my neighbor Karen uh, for giving us the Uno cards in the middle of the night last night while it was pouring down rain. Anyway, nonetheless, that's going to be a really cool video. Can't wait to show you guys. But this morning, I've also got my man Chris Crochet from Select Title and Christy Risser uh, down there as well that are going to help me shoot another video. So, hence, looking all a little bit more buttoned up and tailored. Nonetheless, we've been talking about credit. All right, so yesterday, in that kind of very shaky version of lack of quality video, but as I said, we always come in here regardless. Yesterday, we started talking about credit, right? And like how expensive credit or lack thereof or bad credit can actually affect well a lot of different things the thousands of dollars that you'll spend in interest in car notes and in home uh, and actually I was gonna say in homeowners insurance homeowners insurance too you know it's also based off of credit profiles I mean having good credit helps a lot of different things other than just qualifying for a mortgage but I wanted to break it down to you what it looked like for the different credit score ranges and what is actually the magic sweet number that you want to consider and then some of the other things that happen when your credit score starts tailoring off so let's go back and take a seat here at the mortgage genius desk move my stuff around here all right so uh, we said as we said here we were going to be talking about the credit score ranges so what are the ranges, okay? Most people are wondering like, what is a good credit score? What is an awesome credit score? What is a low credit score? All of the above. All right, I'm gonna give you on average. On average, a credit score range, a very low one is gonna start around 400 and a very high one would be up at about 800. The part that we need to discuss here is we're gonna go backwards. We're gonna work our way from the top of the credit score range down so that you can understand what the different increments of what credit scores will actually do. So here is the sweet spot. Whenever you see a car, a uh, brand, you know, uh, dealership, uh, interest rates offered at a bank, uh, you know, even these, uh, as I mentioned earlier, insurance companies telling you that you can get a really low insurance rate and the likes of it. This is what they're talking about in terms of who will get whatever that um, price or interest rate that they're saying kind of like you know listed outside the door okay so when they're saying zero percent down uh, or zero percent interest rate on this car or they're saying hey you can get a three percent interest rate on your mortgage or they're telling you hey that you can get a really low uh, car insurance rate or homeowners insurance rate the ideal person that they're talking about is somebody with a 750 plus credit score 750 plus are usually identified as what is considered an elite borrower or an elite credit profile person, all right? As I said, this is how you get the lowest interest rate, and as I mentioned, without having to pay for it. So listen, inside of the mortgage industry, interest rates come out on a daily basis, and sometimes they change throughout the course of the day depending on what the economy is actually doing. Now, an interest rate is offered inside the mortgage business at a three-tiered level. There is an interest rate that is at par, which means that is the rate that a borrower with a 750 plus credit score would get and have to pay nothing for it. They could, opt, they could also opt, uh, choose to opt to pick an interest rate that is higher. You might be thinking, well, why would anybody want to pick a higher interest rate? Some first-time home buyers choose to pick a higher interest rate for the purpose of having the bank pay them for, so that they can save money for 
closing costs, moving in, you know, the, the things of that. And even taking a higher interest rate, you might also be thinking, well, that's not really a good idea. There's, there's, a, there's a myth in terms of what a higher interest rate might actually do to affect a, a one's mortgage payment. You could get an interest rate as high as you know, an additional quarter and your mortgage payment might only change by $10, but the bank might give you $2,000. So again, it's a conversation to be had with the mortgage professional to see if that fits your financial situation. But there would be a rate that the bank would pay you to take, and then you can go <clears throat> below what is that par rate, and you could pay to get a lower interest rate. So banks have a range of what the interest rates are. They say, hey, look, we got money all the way down here and we got money all the way up here. For a 750 plus borrower, we've got a rate right here in the middle that they won't have to pay for. If they want to get lower, we're going to make them pay for it. If they want to go higher, hey, tell you what, we'll give them the money for taking a higher rate. Here's something to also to look at, all right, and to consider that there are these ranges and usually most lenders are going to have an increment or, do I have it listed on here? Well, I'll say here in every 20 points, for every 20 points that an interest or a credit score moves, an interest rate will take an adjustment. Now, the term that me and my uh, colleagues say is they'll take a hit. There's nothing great about taking a hit, all right? I mean, if you take a hit to your rate, you're taking a hit to your payment, and it's not a positive hit. If I said, hey, man, I'm going to hit you in the face, it's going to feel like that with a bad credit score. So that's the idea of what actually takes place here when your credit score starts going down at these different 20 point increments and it's 20 point increments i'll venture to say that maybe some lenders might have a different range it could be a 10 point increment it could be a 15 point increment it could be a 30 point increment on average it's 20 so from 750 to 730 we'll take an adjustment to whatever that par rate is from 730 to 710 another adjustment from 710 to 690 you follow the idea all right here's what's important to know Interest rates are not a one size fits all. When people call me up and ask for the lowest interest rate, it's let's take a look at what your credit profile looks like so we have an idea what's the lowest interest rate for you. If you're a 750 plus, hey, guess what? You're gonna have all of the options. All right, as I told you, stay tuned. We are gonna be coming in for the rest of this week with other discussions around credit scores and how they'll affect you, all right? You want to get pre-approved you know the game there's the number I'm so happy to actually have my team back it was actually uh, a gift to have Freddie back this morning as well so you guys know me mark code mark we'll see you have a great and powerful day